and focus on the burgers in Indeed, Stan and Erica. I've got one of these right here from Coach's Bar. Since I'm a Pittsburgher, he's got the fries and coleslaw. And at the end of my story, I'll lead it live on air. But first, we were down here earlier getting a feel for the competition. And let me tell you, these restaurants, they're playing to win. Let the burger games begin. And the restaurants are playing to win. If you look, if you look around, they showcase their trophies that they've won. Uh, first place, second, whatever challenges they've won. Every burger has its own flair. This is the Big Chad. The Big Chad has a block of fried cheese on it with bacon and fry sauce. And its own fans. Oh yes, it is the most amazing burger. It's huge. It's a lot of burger, <laughs> but it tastes fantastic. It's great. The burger competition and, of course, the beards are bringing a lot of folks downtown. We had about 12,000 people last year, so we're looking to surpass that this year. Matter of fact, a lot of things are bringing folks downtown these days, uh, like this couple from Niles. It's starting to open up. There's a lot of new things happening down here, so it's, it's a lot of fun. Just look at V Squared. Yes, that's the name V Squared, not V2. The restaurant is busy, but the patio is packed. We love it. They just keep going and going, and people like to sit outside and enjoy what the views are of downtown. One thing they'll see from that patio, more cops. V Squared's manager says that's been a big change in the last three years or so. Every year you see more and more of a police presence earlier. Um, they're not messing around. They don't play around. V Squared managers say they get big business at festival time. This weekend, twice as much beer on tap as usual. But more importantly, downtown's getting investors from outside the region. And you're talking big investors that are coming down and spending legitimate money, you know, not just getting a $5 burger. They get two, three hundred, four hundred dollar bottles of wine and stuff. You know, they're, they're, they're coming in from New York all over the world. And while there aren't too many people down here just yet, there will be more and more as the night goes on. And uh, I did promise that I'd eat some of this Pittsburgher, so. I can barely take a bite of it. Anyhow, that's what's going on today. Coming up at 1030, we'll let you know what's going on tomorrow because it's not just the burgers. There's also going to be a beard competition. Yeah, a competition for people with bigger beards than mine. Eating a burger in live in downtown Youngstown, James Santelli, First News at 10.